Hi everyone, my name is Yasaman Rezwani. I am the wellness counselor here at BAU University. If you know me, that's really good that I've met you. But if not, I'm the wellness counselor. You can come to my office whenever you have any questions regarding your mental health. I will be happy and delighted to help you all. Today we are going to talk about a topic that we all have been experiencing through our daily life and in my opinion, it's a topic that it's really important to have more knowledge about it. And it's about stress and how we can learn the techniques to manage our stress in our daily life. With that said, let's just jump into our topic. First, it is important to know how to define stress. Stress is often described as a feeling of being overwhelmed, worried, or run down. Stress is a physical, mental, or emotional factor that causes our body or our like some mental tension. Stress can be external from the, our environment, from something that we are going through, from social situations, or it could be physiological illness from like a medical procedure or some of like the medicine that we are on. But the thing that we all have to know is that not all stress is bad. We have distress and we have eustress. Distress is a continuous experience of feeling overwhelmed, oppressed, and behind in our responsibilities. It is all a feeling of that like we are always behind what we are doing. It is so difficult and there is no light at the end of the tunnel. For example, financial difficulties, trauma, battling with a chronic illness, excessive obligations, like having so much to do and like you feel like it's never ending. On the other hand, eustress is the other form of stress that is very positive and beneficial. It will help us to improve our like whatever we are doing in our daily, in our responsibilities and do so much better. We may feel like challenge, but the source of the stress are the opportunities that are meaningful to us. And it will give us motivation to go forward. For example, graduating from college, getting married, or receiving a promotion, changing your job, moving to another city, to another country. They all come with a sense of stress, but at the other hand, you are so motivated, you want to change something, so it is a good stress. <clears throat> As I said, some stress is necessary for all living systems, like us, humans, animals, everybody, because it will give us both the motivation, but also it will help us to survive, put us on the survival mode, and help us to prevent if anything bad is happening to us. It is the means by which we encounter and respond to the challenges and uncertainties of around us, our environment. The perception of dangers sets off an automatic response system that is known as fight or flight response that is activated uh, through hormonal signals, prepare, like it prepares us to meet a threat like animals. When they see something, they just want to like jump, fight. It's the same for us. So when we see something is like a stressful situation, we go into our fight mode. You may ask how we can know that we have the stress. We are like suffering from it because sometimes like we are so busy our daily life that we don't even understand it. I thought that like it's really good to talk about some of the symptoms of the stress. Difficulty is sleeping, stomach pain, fist grinding, like when you're sleeping and like when you wake up, you have like the painful, uh, you have the pain in your fist, it's because of the stress. Headaches, panic attacks in like the more serious way, heartburn, like sweaty hands or feet, fatigue, feeling overwhelmed, or sometimes obsessive or compulsive behavior, like feeling the need to check frequently something because you feel like something is wrong, that's all symptoms of stress. Why do we stress out? 
To answer that question, it is good to know that there are two major reasons behind this behavior that we have. First, we perceive a situation as dangerous, difficult, or painful. So like it's our body, it's our nature to prevent that feeling and like put ourselves in a, in out of harm. Another reason is that we don't believe we have the resources to cope. We don't like we don't believe that we can manage this situation, we can come out of it. As I said, we don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. There is a difference between stress and burnout. Stress is our response. Burnout is the accumulation of excessive stressors over time. If you like have been experiencing stress for so long, for so many months, so many years, that's when it becomes so overwhelmed that you cannot continue your daily routine and it's it's gonna like impair your life. That's when you're burning out. And uh, you feel unmanageable unman stress levels. There are some tips that will help you to manage your stress and avoid the experience of burnout. The first one is understand your stress. For every person is a different way, like everyone experiences stress in a different way. How do you stress? This can be, as I said, this can be different for everybody. By understanding what stress looks like for you, you can be well prepared when it's happening. You can know like beforehand that like, I'm having the symptoms. It's happening to me, what can I do? Which I go for the next, which I tell you for the next steps. The next one is identify your stress sources. Know what caused your stress, find the triggers. like. Is it happen, does it most, most frequently happen when you're at work with your family member, friend, or there are like potential thousand reasons that could lead to stress. Just like when you are feeling the symptoms and when you are having those emotions, that just pause and think what are the reasons that are, these are happening. That's when you know what is the triggers. Next one is learn to recognize stress signals. We all process stress differently, so it is important to be aware of your individual stress symptoms. What are your internal alarm bells? For example, for someone, they're gonna overeat. For another person, they might like feel headache. Some, someone might feel panic attacks. It's different for everybody. So by knowing what is your stress symptoms, you can know that when it's happening. So always be mindful about like your feelings and your emotions so that you know that the stress is happening. Recognize your stress strategies. What is your go-to tactic or habit when you are feeling stress? What helps you calm down? These can be like the behaviors learned over years or sometimes aren't even healthy options. For example, self-medicating with alcohol or with drugs or overeating. For everybody is different. So find what is your go-to strategy. And then implement healthy stress management strategies instead of your go-to way. For example, if overeating is your current go-to, you could practice meditation instead. Or make a decision to call your friend, to chat through with, about your situation. Better to go and find a professional and talk to them which they can help you, giving you more strategies based on the situation you are having. Make self-care a priority. While this can feel like a bit selfish at start, but it, you are the most important person and like you have to make the time for yourself. It's just like, the example in a plane, when something is happening, you have to first put the oxygen mask on yourself, then you can help other people. When you are not good, you cannot be helpful to other people and you cannot improve your uh, life. The simplest things can be like promote well-being, such as enough sleep, food, downtime and exercise. Often. These are the things that are overlooked and we forgot because they're the simplest things that we can do for ourselves. <clears throat>
one of the most important ones is never be shy to ask for support or help when you need it. If you are feeling overwhelmed, reach out to a friend or family member. You are the family member that you are really comfortable talking about your situation and you feel like they can be helped. And as I said, it is good to always find the professional who can be more expert and help you in the situation that you are having. After knowing all these tips, the next step would be try to change the way you evaluate a situation to make it less stressful. As I said, remember, stress is normal, but watch out for the symptoms of stress when they are getting like excessive, more like in long term. That's when you, you're gonna experience burnout and that's when it's gonna be harder to get rid of the stress. And use coping skills and ways to reduce the stress, such as meditation, exercise, healthy eating, talking to professional. You find it really surprising how many things that are really easy that can help you with your situation and you can improve your day. Thank you.